Hello and welcome back. This time we want to talk about measured values, okay? About measurement itself. So the measurement consists, of course, of a number, digits, yeah? So it consists of a value. But the, the value alone does not say anything. Yeah? There is also another thing. This is called the unit. Yeah? So a measurement consists of a value and a unit. Yeah? Zahlenwert and Einheit in German. Measurement, measurement, value and unit. So the measurement itself describes how many of the units have been measured? Yeah. Units, there are several units out there. Yeah. But back in time, uh, the international community uh, standardized the, the units, and this is the so called SE, SI system. Standardized unit system. System international du unit. I'm sorry, I cannot speak French, but it is French, uh, abbreviation of the French word. SE system. Yeah? The EZ system, SI system is the uh, base of our of our measurement values. Yeah? There are seven base units defined. And these base units are length, it's measured in meter, then there is the mass, it's measured in kilograms, then there is the time, it's measured in seconds, yeah. then there is the current, measured in ampere uh, then there's the temperature it's measured in Kelvin and there is the uh, illumination it's measured in candela and of course there is the uh, Stoffmenge, puh, English word for Stoffmenge, a red Stoffmenge. It's measured in mole. Each of these, each of these units are defined somehow, okay, within the SI system. And then of course there are other units. Everybody knows there are other units. There are, for instance, the unit of force, which is Newton. Yeah. However, all of these other units can be also written in these seven base units. That's it. All other units are derived. For example, I just mentioned the example force. Yeah. So, I think all of you know that the force is mass multiplied by acceleration okay and this is mass multiplied by change of velocity over time and this is mass multiplied by change of the way over time and then there is the second right? So here we have mass is in kilograms, then length is measured in meter, then we have seconds, and then we have also seconds. Yeah? And the result is kilogram multiplied by meter divided by second square. Okay, so, and this 
is nothing more than Newton. So all, all other units do have a representation in their base units. Yeah. This representation is a result of the, of the uh, physical background of it. Okay. And some of these combinations, let's call them combinations, do have their own name, like here Newton, because it's always difficult to, to say uh, kilogram meter per second squared. Yeah. So Newton, that's it. Yeah. Or pressure. Pressure does also have a separate name, Pascal, and so on. Yeah. So usually, those physical laws, if we enter here in the base units, we get the correct unit out there. Yeah. SI system. Yeah. Of course, sometimes we deal with really tiny things and sometimes we deal with a lot of stuff. Yeah. And so there is also the prefixes, the so-called prefixes. In the script, I've written down all those things. Yeah? Here you can see, okay, length, meter, mass, kilogram. There are even the definitions, which should be accurate, I hope. Uh, 2019 was the latest, latest change. Yeah? And here you have the prefixes, okay, these ones. Are the prefixes. So if you want to say something really tiny, then you can use the prefix for ins for for uh, instance nano. A nanosecond is a billionth part of a second. Yeah, nano. There are things which are going down, yeah, and things which are going up. I think all of you know giga and terabyte and megabyte and so on. That's exactly, exactly coming from this, yeah. derived somehow. Yeah. You can go up to up to Yota. Yeah. 10 by the raised by the power 24. So big, big things. Mm -hmm. You also have in your in your uh, script here a number of of uh, different different derived units yeah. frequency force pressure energy power charge voltage field resistance and so on and so on and so on and there is also the usually the usual short name of these things yeah? and if there is another unit which is commonly used it's also written here okay so this is just for your reference uh, i guess you have heard those things in other in other uh, curses too okay. one important thing that needs to be mentioned is that those uh, physical laws, they are always in standard units, okay? So we know, for instance, the power is the momentum multiplied by the rotational speed, yeah? P equals m dot omega, yeah? And m needs to be in Newton meter, yeah. And and omega needs to be in rad per second. Then p comes out in what? Okay. Uh, so if you want to calculate the moment of a shaft or something like this, you have to divide beta by omega, it's just form it, yeah? And here, this P needs to be entered 
inward and this omega needs to be entered in rad per second yeah? easy yeah? however what if you do have given p in kilowatts yeah? and you usually don't have omega you have the rotations yeah per minute revs per minute yeah? how how can we get to these things yeah? so omega is per second yeah so we need to divide this through 60 then we have rotations per second and then of course a full rotation is a angle of 2 pi 2 pi this is how it looks yeah and now this 2 and the 60 can go away n pi 30 yeah. this is omega and here omega comes out in rad by second okay and here if we have given it in kilowatt these are 1000 watts okay so if we want to get out the moment in newton meter we multiply 1000 times p in kilowatt okay, divided by n in rotations per minute yeah, multiplied p to 30 yeah so this is 30 30000 divided by p and now p in kilowatt and n This might also be the law. Yeah, this is just reflecting the the the, the law, yeah? the physical law. However, there is one factor in front, which is compensating those unusual units. Yeah? If you do have such a equation where we don't enter. In standard units yeah you always have to give the units you need to enter yeah? you sometimes have these cases yeah? because usually kilowatt is very usual and rotations per minute is very usual you know so why don't use this formula yeah? but the actual law physical law which is behind is this formula Always keep in mind, always keep in mind uh, that these, these things are only valid if you use so-called coherent units. Coherent units means standard units. Yeah? If you're using non-coherent units or non-standard units, you're getting some sort of factor. Yeah? Uh, and you get a different type of equation yeah this is the so-called uh, Größengleichung physical law and this is the Zahlenwertgleichung it's uh, phew, I also don't know it in English Zahlenwertgleichung okay the only thing which is differing is this is this factor here that's it for this time so next time we will discuss about how we can somehow distinguish between the different variants of, of measurements we now we know now what a measurement is and now we want to see how we can uh, put them in categories okay 
So for this time, thank you very much for your attention. Here next time, goodbye.